Good evening. A $5 million fire is still causing major problems tonight, 21 hours after it ripped through a Bunnings warehouse in Inglewood. There are two key concerns. The first is that smoke pouring out of the gutter building could cause health problems. The other is that it might collapse altogether. Alice Murray begins our coverage. A toxic inferno. Within moments, it was out of control. Busy Beaufort Street turned into an evacuation zone. With chemicals, wood, paint and gas canisters inside from the first flames, there was little hope of saving Inglewood Bunnings. Dozens of families were forced out of their homes and watched on as the roof of the massive warehouse collapsed. The inferno expanding and literally roaring. As flames came within metres of houses. At first, some tried to defend, like Zoran Blagage. Before firefighters arrived, he fought the blaze with a garden hose. Oi, start warning people in these houses! On the left, yeah, that fence, get that fence, it's on fire! He pretty much got to us, engulfed all around the fence line, we were holding it back. Um, the corrugated iron was pretty much gl gl glowing red. So um, you can imagine the heat. And then within five minutes, there was barrels blowing up and <laughs> debris going every window smashing above us. Whoa! Then the 36-year-old raced to save nearby residents. So I've heard a few people screaming for help. I was jumping fence after fence. I don't consider myself a hero. Um, the WA um, Fire Brigade are the heroes in this case. The Inglewood night markets were shut down, an evacuation centre set up. It wasn't just the fear of houses and stalls catching fire. Toxic smoke was spewing into the air and travelling hundreds of metres. You put all those goods together, timber um, and all the products together, very, very difficult to control. You put a, a steel roof on top of that, uh, it turns into a, a, an oven. Those affected by the smoke told to seek medical help immediately. Yeah, it was pretty hard to breathe and you, you had black stuff coming out your nose and it was pretty, it was pretty toxic. It tasted like chlorine and you could smell it from down the street. It yeah. was, you could smell it and taste it from like 500 metres away. Bunnings burned for 11 hours and this is what locals woke to this morning, a twisted shell. And behind the destroyed hardware store, intense heat had smashed windows, but the townhouses are otherwise untouched. Well, it didn't expand for a long time and then it just got bigger and bigger and I guess at some point it must have cracked into the chemicals or something over that side and it was really billowing and more of a tornado kind of thing. I just kept hearing these explosions going off and it was just so crazy. The damage bill has been put at $5 million and residents here say they've lost a local icon. Horrible, just horrible. Uh, re rebuild, definitely rebuild. We need it. It's an institution for us living locally to see Bunnings go up. It was, um, yeah, very disappointing. Hey, watch it! Alice Murray, Nine News. And the arson squad has spent the day investigating, but firefighters still have a job to do tonight as well. Rebecca Johns is tracking developments there, Rebecca. They're worried that some of the walls may collapse and then impact on nearby homes. Well, Michael, it's this rather huge wall behind me that is causing all the headaches for authorities tonight and stopping residents from returning home. As you can see, the wall is actually leaning towards a housing complex on the left-hand side and the excavator is being used to hold it in place in case it collapses. I have been told tomorrow the wall will be toppled and residents will finally be able to return home. Now, this evening, Ning Inglewood residents are being reminded to stay indoors with levels of an undetectable, un, un, an unknown chemical, sorry, still being detected in the air. However, I have been told that the level is acceptable, so it is OK. And if you are outdoors, don't uh, panic too much. Tomorrow, arson squad detectives will be back down here continuing their investigation. And whilst we don't quite know yet how the fire started, we do know that it began in the back corner of the Bunnings warehouse in the pool chemical section. Michael. Rebecca Johns, thank you for the update.